Hello there everyone, this is an introduction on how to install and download uh, SMG to display your current playing music on OBS or XSplit or whatever you want to use. Uh, this video will only show you how to download and install it. Uh, for further uh, instructions there will be more videos and some advanced videos. Alright, so the first step is to download SMG, so let's go to Google SMG OBS, Google SMG OBS, and then you'll, the top link will be SourceForge, or at least it should be, get SourceForge, and just take that one, and you can press the download button here, but if you want a specific version or something, you can go to files, and download the most recent version, and just click it, uh, the most recent version right now is SMG 1.6 beta. So let's download it, just wait a few seconds. Alright, it's downloading now. And it's almost done, it's done. Alright, let's show in folder. And it showed up on my second screen, let me delete the old ones first, sorry for that. Oh, wait a second. Excuse me, sorry. Alright, so now you have the folder, uh, you have to extract it, if you do not know what extracting means or how it works, you can google it, uh, I recommend using a program called 7-zip. Uh, Alright, so let's exact, extract it, uh, extract files, let me grab it from a second screen and press ok. Alright, uh, so it has extracted here. Now, there's a lot of files in this folder uh, which are pretty much useless. The most important files are currentsong.txt and smgui.exe. Uh, yes, all right. So let's s let's uh, run smgui.exe.exe. Uh, sorry. All right, it didn't hang this time. Last time I recorded a video with hang, which was a bit unfortunate. All right, um, we need Spotify as an example. Let's open up Spotify, pick a song, Courage from Manowar, seems fine, press start, and there it is, Courage from Manowar. Um, yes, so it simply takes your song from whatever music player select, in this case it's Spotify, and it displays that here, but most importantly, in the file. Uh, how to use this file with OBS or XSplit will be in a different video. Now, I will show you how to use uh, SMG with uh, web applications. So let's close down this and this one. Let's start um, by downloading the plugin I made for web applications. So you need to go to the download page again, the SourceForge download page where you downloaded SMG and get this link, just open it. And there's this big button and a bit of text, but most importantly, this big button. Just drag it to your uh, to your bookmarklet bar. And if it isn't visible, by the way, you can open your proof mark uh, bookmark bar by clicking uh, this icon here, bookmarks, and show bookmarks bar. It should be something similar for Firefox. All right. So uh, pressing proof marklet will open a small window on the current web page um, with some text. If the website is not supported it will say that it's not supported and the text will be read and if you accidentally clicked it or something you can hide it with Control M and show it. Alright. So now to make it work here let's open GrooveShark and see what happens if you do not use uh, the Groove Marklet in combination with sites that do need the Groove Marklet. Alright, let's open these two songs. SMG. Select Groove Shark. There we go. Let me mute it for a second. Oh, oh. Accidentally clicked everything away. Alright, start. And it says listen to free music online, internet radio free, blah blah blah. Uh, that's definitely not what we want. So let's press stop for now. Alright, let's Click the Groove Marklet, the window appears, and it says All My Love by Led Zeppelin, and that seems a lot more like it, so let's start it again. Alright, there it is, it gets the 
correct text right now. Um, yes. Now, for another example, we will use uh, YouTube. Let's open YouTube. Oh, mouse did something odd. All right, and let's select YouTube. There we go, start. Rick Ashley, never gonna give you up. So that's um, my first video on how to download and install SMG. Hope this helps you out, and if it doesn't, please uh, just send me an email or um, reply to the forum, and I will try to help you out, and if I can't, then sorry for that.